I'm very passionate about music. I noticed that a lot of the youth, especially here in Malawi, were embracing Western culture. I realized that I could do something about it. That's where the passion is drawn from, you know, uh, spearheading the culture into the forefront, sort of uh, exporting Malawian culture to the rest of the world. Yes, it is difficult making a living off of music in Malawi. And the reason I say this is because we don't have platforms where we can actually sell our music. It's easy for anyone to sort of download it. They, they set it up on sites where it's illegally downloaded. One guy at one point almost sold me my own song. You know, he came to me and then he, as he was reaching out, he realized it's me and he goes, ah, never mind. I said, no, no, what do you have there? You know, <laughs> the funny thing is it's meant to open up the market. You know, it's meant to benefit me. It's meant to allow my craft to be seen by the masses, not only just in Malawi, but international on a global scale. One of the problems we have is just civic education. People don't understand copyright. Uh, they don't know what it's there for. And therefore, when you don't know you're breaking a law, it's easy to go ahead and continue doing what you're doing. You know, it becomes normal when a song comes out for you to download it legally. Copyright is very important uh, in my industry because it's my sort of uh, security mechanism. It's something that protects the work that I put out. I think it's very important for young people to respect and understand copyright because if you're out there and you're a Tate Green fan and you want to keep listening to Tate Green music over many years, you know, the only way I can sustain that is if you respect copyright, is if you understand that that is the only way I can earn a living.